I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm gonna give you a message. Low vibration, stay away from what brings you down. You are being reminded not to waste your energy on low vibrational situations. Drama, gossip, and conflict are distractions from your soul's goals. In quiet contemplation today, revisit goals you have made and commit recommit yourself to them. So if you have people, friends, family, coworkers, doesn't matter, who only want to contact you to talk about a bunch of bullshit, those people are consciously or most of the time subconsciously distracting you from your soul's purpose even if they don't actually realize it they are doing that this is why boundaries are so important this is why if you're feeling drained or like oh like that when someone texts you that's because you don't want to talk to them that's because they are pulling on your energy you know that's where the term energy vamp comes from yeah okay they could be obsessed with you not even know why like why do i want to talk to her all the time yeah because they're siphoning your energy because they're refusing to do their own healing work and instead they're feeding off of you okay <laughs> so be mindful of that okay um so this is what's coming towards you what's coming towards you today okay so let's take a look what is coming towards you? So we're going to do some karma. And I'm also going to do my Shadows of Light. Ah! Oracle deck. I absolutely love these karma cards. Very beautiful cards. Oh, Lord. Okay. So what is coming towards them? I don't know why spirits wanted me to tell you this, but um, I do say a prayer over my cards before doing readings. I don't know why I want to say that, but okay. Clearly. So what is coming towards you? Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Some of you need to check your 10th place, 10th house placements, okay? Your goals, the day-to-day -day reality, use the most business way. Check and see where you have Capricorn as well in your chart. Responsible success, become a person of power and status. So this could be your goal. This could be your vision and business, becoming a person of status. Um, this is what you need to look at. Your 10th house and wherever your Capricorn placement is. This is not going to resonate with everybody clearly, but this is for some of you. Anything else you want to say? Yep, one more. Sagittarius, your highest ideal, the rules of get it out to the world. Okay, also check your Sag placements. This is where you will have your highest idea. So this here, this is where your highest idea is coming from. I don't know. And Gemini placement could be significant. What you want to be known for is your Gemini placement and what is believed about you. So this is what you're going to be, Spirit is saying, this is what you're going to be known for and what people will believe about you is that Gemini placement. You might want to check your birth chart and read it. <clears throat> and what is coming towards them? Dried flower fairy, sweet memories. The three fates, what comes around. This is karma. Somebody's going to be receiving karma from the fates. The three fates, the three fates is, you know, this says literally what comes around goes around. And anything you want to clarify about the <laughs> what comes around. <laughs> That's too many spirit, please. Oh, Lord. Love is strange. Strange Valentine. This could be a strange love. This could be someone who is just weird. Edgar Allan Poe could be significant. Time for change. To learn something new. To use technology and gadgets with wisdom. I feel like this kind of um, 
goes back to word to what the karma card said so if you're trying to be known for someone of status you want to be a leader in a business or in your own business you're an entrepreneur you need to start incorporating technology and you need to learn something new okay you could be an older person who's just not hip with the new age stuff but you need to become hip to it and definitely edgar Allan poe is significant On the bottom, we have shallow grave. You miss someone. So this could be someone here you're missing. 29 could be significant. Um, this could be someone you're missing. Okay. Yeah, you may feel like the connection is dead or something is what I'm channeling here. Something about that. So they're getting good karma. This, this is definitely, this feels like someone who is getting good karma. Yeah, the power of three. So, yeah, it's the, it's, <laughs> is it good karma? It's the power of three. What goes around comes around. The law of three, I'm hearing. The law of three. If you're a witch, you're definitely a witch. Someone who um, does witchcraft. Stifled, bored, and stuck. You could have been stifled, bored, and stuck. Or this is where you're headed. Some of you are getting good karma. Some, someone here may be getting bad karma. Powerful personal growth. Yeah, I told you. A tempting offer has a high price. Oh, be careful. Someone could be receiving an offer that is not good. It's a bad business deal. It's a bad deal. It may come at a high price. Some of you, because you're in the, you're in this space of a tremendous, um, in tremendous personal power in your life. So you could be elevating, like headed into your destiny. And there could be someone or a few people who are trying to tempt you to go in the wrong direction. This is, there's a lot of people I feel like are here. There's a lot of people here which at the end of the world an important end and a new beginning i'm telling you there's something ending and beginning you're definitely ending karmic cycles and beginning something new but i feel like someone is trying to keep you stuck in the past how how the natural world needs you i feel like they're trying to pull you away from the world They may want you to abandon your purpose, your life purpose, or something like that. It's time to be brave. It's time to be brave. Someone could be coming after you. What do they want to do to this person? Oh, Lord. Guidance, but where will it lead you? They want to lead, they want to guide you, I feel like, into nothing. Collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energy. Storm angel. Yeah, they're here. This is like a tower. They want to disrupt your... They want to disrupt your intuition. They want to guide you into a different... Basically into ego. They want you to fulfill a... What? I was about to say fulfill a prophecy. It's like they want you to fulfill something that is not where you're supposed to be heading, I'm hearing ghost of the past i told you they want you to go back to the past the past returns for a time no 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 we're not going back masks could be this could be someone you have a past life with a time for spirit pink lotus you need to be meditating um you have grown a lot okay you need to focus on your growth um mm -mm. this is a no no <laughs> This is a no-no. So what does this person, the person that is being tempted, for the people that's being tempted, what do they need to know? 928 was on the timer. It's going to be in love. It's going to be a temptation in regards to a love offer. 28. Phoenix rising because you're the Phoenix rising. Take off your mask. I just said something about masks. Okay. You're the Phoenix rising. They want to come in and give you a shitty offer, 
they're wearing a mask, but I feel like they want you to put your mask back on. Why? This is crazy. Why do they want them to put their mask back on? They want you to procrastinate. They don't want you to, they either want to keep something from your childhood hidden or they don't want you to continue healing your inner child. But be patient. Be patient. Oh, continue to practice self-love. Unleash your creativity. This is healing your family and your tribe. Okay. They only want to come in, give you a love offer so that they can reject you. What do they think is going to happen? What do they think they're going to accomplish by doing this? What do they think rejecting this person is going to do? This is like, really? You think you have that much power? <laughs> they think that by rejecting you... And you thinking that you, that they're your person or your soulmate, that this will lead to your sadness. You'll become so sad and depressed that you'll reject your own healing and become bitter. 1122. And it will mess up your inner child and healing for your lineage. Like, this person, why does this person think that they have so much power? This is... <laughs> Why does this person think that they have the power to do this to somebody? Because they really don't. Whoever this is, is a phoenix. Please. Something about rejecting home. They feel like you have, or you could have maybe um, rejected your home already or rejected a home. They feel like, they feel like this relationship was something that you were supposed to be in or something like that. But they don't know what they're talking about. This person is like, why does this person think that they are something they're not? This is someone who thinks that they're something that they're not. 1,000%. I'm not even trying to be funny. Who do they think they are that they're not? This is someone who's in full-fledged ego that thinks they're like a like God. <laughs> yeah. Guidance, but where will it lead you? This is like someone who has a dark-ass energy. Shallow grave. This person is like giving, this is giving like someone who doesn't feel much of anything for anyone. I'm getting like lifeless with this skeleton here, stuck in the dark. They could be disconnected from their intuition because God has disconnected them. That does happen. <laughs> They're sad about this. Mend a broken heart, healing from heart. You could have broken this person's heart or rejected them. So now they're like out for revenge. From death comes rebirth. Right. What does Kali want to say? That's Kali Ma. What does Kali want to say? The, the past is coming back. The natural world needs it. This person could be, oh Lord, this person could... Like, basically, 1333 on the timer. This, yep, I was just angel. This person may not want you breathing, continuing life. This is someone here who does not like you now that you rejected them. Spirit, what do you want to say to these people or this person that feels this way? Clean up time. It's time to clean up. The spiritual realm is cleaning up these people. Wow. Eclipse. A powerful energy shift. Yeah, so if these people had gifts, they will no longer. You will be, they will be stuck in the dark. It's time to clean up the trash from the earth is what I'm hearing. A clockwork pumpkin, a wonderful idea. As I just said that. Yep. Told you. I'm not trying to be rude, but um, this is someone who could have even been doing like death spells and shit on someone. Like <laughs> the audacity. And you think that you're going to get good karma? Who is this person? Who are this? Who is this person or these people that I'm talking about? 
I had ill intentions towards a phoenix rising. Sixth house, twelfth house, Neptune, Capricorn could be significant. Okay. Uranus could be significant. Leo, seventh house. North node. Mercury, ninth house, Saturn. What is the karma that these people are going to, the trash, is, what is the, what is the karma? Ooh, some of them will be stuck. Saturn, they're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle. Saturn rules karma, so that means that they're going to be stuck in the karmic cycle over and over and over, spinning their wheels, and they're going to be in service to others for like the end of their days. <coughs> Yep, they could be a Taurus. Your beliefs are going to cost you everything in this life. Basically, everything, all you, everything that you wanted to manifest because of what you did to someone who didn't deserve it. Um, you're going to be stuck in this karmic cycle. You will not have stability. You're going to be stuck dealing in a third-party situation forever. Right, exactly. That's your fate. I feel like this is trickery, though. You are you may feel like, okay, I'm open to receiving now. Please help me. But a fire energy... Remember, I said Leo is going to come in to put doubt and lack in your mind. So there's a fire energy working against you. This could be spiritual. Um, this could be physical. It could be both because of this, because of what you did. This person could be somebody's ancestors. Yeah, this person is someone tied to an earth sign. This could be an ancestor, like I said. Um, yeah, they saw what you did. They saw the seeds that you planted and now they're coming back for justice they want justice for what you did to an earth sign and clarity will be shown about who this person is so if you're curious about who this is people will know what you did and who you are i don't know who this is <laughs> i don't know um i'm just saying don't know I don't do shit like that to people, so I don't know why you would want to do stuff like that. You want me to pull a shaman's dream, and then I'm wrapping it up. What do you want to say about the situation? Beginner's mind, first breath. Perfect storm, the courage to step into your life, into life. This storm was meant for you to step into your new life. So this was faded. This was already written. Um, the most high, your creator already knew what these people were going to do before they did it. And they did it anyway, like a dumbass. Instead of healing, they could have changed their own destiny, their own fate. But instead, they didn't. So here we are. This this could have been their destiny. Being a, on the ops. Working for the ops. Everybody has a soul contract. 33 could be significant. 44. Inspiration. They were your muse. The divine matrix. The wall. Obstacles. So this was meant to make you stronger. <laughs> All of this was in your favor to create what you have become. Wow, this is 
928 again. It's 928 right now. That's significant. So preparations come to fruition. Refusal of the call. Someone tried to steal your destiny, steal your dreams, but that wasn't going to happen. Experiencing life as it comes. What adaptability. So someone tried to steal your destiny, steal your dreams, but you adapted. You changed every time there was a wall, every time there was someone trying to come up against you. You changed. You evolved. You adapted. They could never take you down. You are beloved. Radical acceptance. You have the capability if you need to burn shit to the ground, you burn it. And you're like, well, I'll start again. Wasn't meant to stay here. These people do not have that ability. They think in groups. They're only strong in groups. So they cannot stand alone. They need a group. This could be an organization, a secret society that cannot function without one another. You function all by yourself. And they think you are, this is why they started studying you or something like that. 53, 5, 3 could be significant. Yeah, the universe is your partner. They see your abilities and your power that you have. That's what they wanted to have it themselves, but they can't steal your power. The fuck? <laughs> they are lost and need direction. What were they supposed to do? What, what were they supposed to do? in order to I feel like they were supposed to be led but they were supposed to have compassion open up their heart space they didn't in time a gestation period would have they would have been able if they would have had patience and opened up their heart space they would have been able to um, heal and create like you do but they didn't they wanted everything balancing they had to balance they needed to be able to transmute their own pain, and they didn't. Crown games, right use of power. They were not going to ever use their power for good because the power that they had with the group, they used it for bad. This is why they were never, they would never have access to the gifts that you had because they would never have used the power correctly. I've said that multiple times. It's always the person who doesn't really want the power who ends up with it because they're the ones that's going to do the right thing. <laughs> Limitless possibility. This is the person who is going to be led from the heart. This person is going to be the one to be powerful in power and be led from the heart and use their power wisely but also be strong enough to combat these people. 